Words are hard, people, and naming things is harder. But I'm Janet from World Anvil, and today I'm looking at five ways that you can improve your sci-fi or fantasy names to make your world feel more real and way cooler. Number one, consider your geography. The real world is full of names based on geography. The Netherlands, or the Low Countries, is a very clear example. And when a place doesn't have an established name, or it does but we don't know it yet, we often use geographical features as a reference. Take Torpenhow Hill in the UK. Due to different cultures settling nearby, its name literally means Hill 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 Hill. To be fair, that's mostly what's there. Or how about Bournemouth, an English city that's in the mouth of the river Bourne. Not very original, right? Oh, and Bourne or Burn means river in Middle English. So Bournemouth literally means river mouth. It's about as descriptive as it gets. You can also reference plants and animals, like Oxford, where the ox ford or cross the river, Swinton, literally swine town, and Oaksey, where the oak trees grew. Yes, these are all real places in England, and a map is a great place to look for inspiration for these. I'm not making them up, I promise. So when naming your settlements in world building, make sure you take notice of, or invent, some notable natural features around them. It'll make naming them a hell of a lot easier. Number two, think about politics. Leaders and politicians love making sure that everyone knows just how important they are. And what better way to do that than by naming a town after themselves? Or what better way to flatter your leader than by naming something after them? Washington DC in the US and both Queensland and Victoria in Australia are obvious examples of this. But there are town names with sneakier references to people. New Jersey is named not after a person, but after the Isle of Jersey. Because one of the original proprietors had been governor of the Isle of Jersey, he decided to use the same name. Well, I guess home is where your heart is, right? There are many places in the USA, like Lancaster, York, Richmond, and Norfolk, which are all named after English towns, for obvious political reasons. No, don't throw tea at me! And names can change for political reasons, too. For example, St. Petersburg was called Leningrad for over 70 years after Soviet leader Lenin passed away. Another thing to consider is your world's history. What important cultures have made contact? This could be through colonization or invasion, but it could also be through trade and diplomacy. When cultures make contact, you get names in a mix of languages. For example, elvish city names that use orc suffixes. Many human settlements in Middle-earth, like Minas Tirith, Gondor's capital, have names in Elvish. And by the way, this is the ultimate show-don't-tell for exposition in your world. If you go to Allentown and then meet a rich guy called Alan, well, we all know who he is. Number three, remember to be lazy. People tend to be a bit lazy. And you can see that in how names develop. After all, why say something in three words when you can use just one? For example, take Leicestershire, which is actually pronounced Leicestershire. Or even Essex, which is a contraction of the Kingdom of East Sax. And let's not forget about the USA, because who has time to say the United States of America? Of course, that doesn't mean that long names can't exist. There are some long names, some extraordinarily long names that have grown more complex for a variety of reasons. Looking at you, Number four, taboos and vulgar language. Vulgar language and words that are considered taboo are actually very frequent in popular culture, and this includes names. Shitterton is a real town in England. No, I'm not making this crap up. But vulgar names sometimes can appear by accident. For example, Nottingham in England used to be known as Snottingham. It means the home of the people of Snot the Wise, a Saxton chieftain. Sure, I'm glad Snot is no longer a name. In modern parlance, Snot might not be as bad as poop, but it's probably not the first word you'd think about when creating a name. 
Names that sound too vulgar often evolve over time to make them more pleasant to the ear. Nottingham is a perfect example of that, but Satterford, formerly Shitterford, is an even clearer one. If you know of any other vulgar, funny or taboo town names, then throw them in the comments below. I love a good laugh. Number five, embrace the chaos in your fantasy names. Let chaos reign. So unless your world was built by an AI, there will be chaos and randomness. People are, after all, chaotic. So some names won't seem to fit or might reference things that are gone. Others might sound funny, and there may be multiple places with the same name, just like there are in this world. Try to strike a balance where most names follow the rules, but occasionally one completely ignores them and shamelessly goes off in the opposite direction. That makes your world seem more authentic too. And that weird place name will catch your players' and readers' attention, so put something interesting there. Please drop us a like if these tips helped you, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for your dose of world-building inspiration. Now grab your hammer and go world-built.